What? What is this? Why are we doing stab three? This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapill across all my social platforms and I hope you're keen to get into Scream 3. That ruins it, but that's what we're doing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be watching Scream 3, which is also known as the third movie. <laughs> now, a lot of people regard this movie as the worst in the entire series, and I have no idea why, uh, but it's kind of soured my taste a little bit, if I'm honest. I sort of wish people didn't tell me, Scream 3 is the worst one, because then it gets into your mind, and sometimes you just don't need that negativity in your life. In other news, this means that I'm also closer to the new Scream that's releasing in January, so you'll have Scream 3 in November, which is now, I hope. And then in December, you'll have Scream 4, which, from what I know, released in 2011, 11 years after this one. So, either they fucked up bad with this movie, or they just decided to take a really long break. Aside from all that, if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, how are you going? Leave me a comment that says, I dropped my sausage roll. Where can I get a new one? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on because apparently if you turn the notification bell on, you're actually in like a cool club or something. Other than that, I've got a bottle of water here. I've got my best friend, my mental health. I've got some nice mood lighting that uh, looks like it's currently having a fucking stroke, which is not probably a good thing for a candle to be doing. This movie is also pretty long at roughly two hours. Uh, so if it is bad, I'm going to feel it. The past couple of movies, I have had a uh, guess at who the killer is about a quarter of the way in, and I've been wrong every time. So my current score is uh, zero for two. Ho. Oh, we're starting off at the Hollywood sign. I mean, think about it. I'm risking my reputation as the host of this country's number one. Is that my audio or is he talking really softly? Why can't these guys write me a fucking decent part? Cotton Mouth. That's not his name. Hello. Hello. Who's this? You sound a lot like that guy on TV. Um, uh, Cotton Weary. Cotton Weary, not Cotton Mouth. Really sexy voice. <laughs> Wait a minute, you are cotton, aren't you? It would have been weird if he wasn't cotton and he was just like, yeah, man, fucking weird that I'm on TV, isn't it? Andrea, uh, I gotta call you back. Someone's on the other line. That looks like a TV remote. What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. I'm right outside her bathroom door. Do you know how to avoid all the ghost face calls and everything like that? Just don't pay your phone bill, and then, <laughs> then he won't be able to call you. It's so simple. Where's Maureen's daughter, Sydney? Who the fuck is this? Somebody who'd kill to know where Sydney Prescott is. Oh, I'm gonna guess who it is straight off the bat. I reckon it's the guy in about five cars back from Cotton's car. <laughs> what type of clothes does he prefer? Probably 100% Cotton. <laughs> You dirty girl, put that tail back up on the rack. Cotton, is that you? Damn, Ghostface has some killer taste. <laughs> Walk into the living room, Ghostface is just fucking shredding it. Okay, Cotton. What a dumb name that is to even give a baby. You give birth to this human little mini thing and then you call it fucking Cotton. You may as well fucking throw it out the window while you're at it. On you all right? I'm home! Jesus, you scared the shit out of me! Can this ghost face mimic people? I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to scare you that bad. It's me. Come on, open the door. What a fucking dumb costume that would be if it was cotton. Considering all the previous trauma and... Oh my god. Talking about how much fun it's gonna be to rip your insides out! Chris? Are these... Madmen of the freeway. Well, around, around, okay? Okay? Hey! It's you on the TV! You're famous! I mean, at least he learned how to speak properly, I guess. Remember in the last movie he spoke like this? I would like some popcorn, Sydney. Like, <laughs> at least he learned how to speak properly. Come on, baby, open the door. Come on, Cotton, use those big fucking pecs of yours. There we go. Chris, was somebody in the house? Come back! Uh oh. Christine, get out of the way! Oh! oh. Ah! 
Okay, that was smart. That was book smart. It was a simple game, Cotton. You should have told me where Sydney was. Now, you lose. What? You killed Cotton off the bat? Cotton got stuffed. Sydney has a doggy. I want to pat it. Beware of dog. Is that referring to the actual dog she has or her herself? I don't need no guard dog. I can defend this place myself. <laughs> Did Sydney become a tally marketer? Hey, it's Laura from Monterey reporting to work. Can you patch me in? Sure. Laura? How can I help you? Hi, um, do I have to say my name? No, you don't have to say anything you don't want to say. Hangs up. <laughs> okay, see ya. So, in closing, as the future journalists of America, there is one thing that you need to remember. What did they do to you? <laughs> Break the rules. What have they done to you, Gail? Holy fuck, that's a fate worse than being dead. What did the hair department do to you? Anchor woman for total entertainment. Thank you very much. Someone in the background. Yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> there is a young man outside who wants to see you. He says he's with the police. Is it going to be our resident killer, Dewey? I'm here because Cotton Murray's been murdered. <sighs> Where's my man Dewey at? If you share this with the world, it's you. I'll be arrested. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Do you have any idea who the girl might be? Oh my God. It's Marie Prescott. This is Sydney Prescott's mother. Oh, I'm trying to listen to her acting, but I cannot focus. There is one thing I'm focusing on every time she's on screen, and it is insanely distracting. Cotton Fury, where he had only recently finished shooting a cameo as himself. Yeah, Sydney, I don't think you're ever going to be able to escape. What? What is this? Why are we doing Stab 3? I'm pretty sure Stab 1 wouldn't have, like... Sold that many tickets. Especially calling it something like Stab. Yo, babe, you wanna go see Stab 3 on the weekend? I know, pretty clever title, right? Hire more security, hire the National Guard, just don't kill the movie. So if we stop making scary movies, what, uh, all the cycles in the world will retire? Come on. I'll plead not guilty right now. Yeah. Detectives, there's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was stabbed. <laughs> that wasn't a that wasn't a line in the script, was it? They killed Randy and stabbed too. Oh my god, that's right. Randy's not here anymore. Oh, how are we gonna find out about the rules for this movie? This was about cotton. We are not in any danger. We are not in any danger, says Candy, page fifteen. You win that talent search for the new Sydney, fifty thousand girls, and they pick you. Oh. Well they miscast tremendously because I didn't see Sydney at all. I just saw a random girl. Oh my fucking god. Gail, what the fuck did they do to you? <laughs> I am so sorry. What the fuck is that? I know we've never met, and I, I don't mind you never returning my calls, but I have to tell you- Local woman number two! I mean, that haircut isn't the worst thing Courtney Cox has ever done, is it? After all, Gail Weathers, you're such a complex character. Oh, I don't think Gail is that much of a complex character. She gets punched in the face every movie. Gail. Do we? Someone dies and Gail comes running. Who killed them, Dewey? Someone's helped me understand the real you. Dewey, that's kind of fucked up, man. That's an that's an actress playing Gail. And you're like, yeah, that kind of interests me, actually. Not not the real Gail, though. Blech, yuck. Especially with that haircut. Blech, 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 blech. You work here? Yeah. The movie needed a technical advisor. Someone who went through the real experience, knew the real people. Hey, Dewey. Hey, Tom. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Tom Prince. Watch your show all the time. Pop culture is the politics of the 21st century. <laughs> Thank you. Only Gail would say something like that. Tom, sometimes in journalism you- Holy fuck, man. If someone gave me that hairstyle in a movie, I would plead to be the first one killed in the movie. He's playing you? <laughs> I did not come here to fight with you, do we? Sydney doesn't need you and your camera in her life. Oh, do you see a camera? These two just don't understand relationships or 
how to communicate with one another at all. One second they're like, come here babe, blah, 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 blah. and then the next second they're like, yeah well, I don't need your stupid camera in my face, and then two seconds later it's like, yeah but... It's been so long, hasn't it? I am working with Kincaid's movie. Rules are rules, Gail. But really, it was great seeing you. Just up ahead is the old Seinfeld stage. Hey, Jerry. Ah! Oh my god! What the hell happened here? George just exploded for no reason. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Break. Not me, I, I actually just went. Shit, Salvo, it's that TV news shit, Connie fucking John. Hey, hey it's Kevin Bacon. Is that his name? Kevin, Kevin Bacon? I haven't got my phone to Google it. Do you ever think about her? Your mom? None of this would ever happen if she hadn't. I don't know why, but to me it looks like Sydney's face is deep faked onto her own face. It doesn't look real. Why does that not look legit? The only people you talk to don't even know your real name. It's as if you don't exist. Bro, she still looks like Sydney Prescott. You can't just change your name and be like, oh, that's right. If anyone sees me, they'll just think of me as Laura now. Bitch, you look the exact same. Fucking dye your hair. Bloody shave your head off. How about hair? Gail's fucking in my brain. Uh, Ga Gail's in my brain, fucking my brain. Uh, I can't think straight, all right? What the hell is this? Did mum just get fucking lost in the woods? Why is she here? She's dead. <laughs> Kidding, that wasn't scary at all. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. You're just like me. You're just like me. Ew. Mother needs to go back to bed, I think. If that, if she jumps up at me, I'm gonna, I'm, I quit. Oh, uh, she jumped. Why is this happening? Sydney has like PTSD XL, like the next layer of it. She looks more like Gail than Gail looks like Gail. That's unreal. Stab three. Jesus, I gotta get a new agent. Someone here? <laughs> he does good work, huh? Thank you. What the hell happened, man? Did you trip over and land on a pencil case? Oh, this girl is so dead. There was a sound in the background. She's gone. You're not happy with your part. I'm not happy that I'm 35 playing a 21 year old. I'm not happy that I have to die naked. Haven't you heard that like running around naked and dying naked, it's actually really, really beneficial to the plot? Didn't you hear about that? I don't understand why I have to start the scene in the shower. <laughs> and I mean, my boyfriend just died. Why am I showering? Because you feel like dirty about your boyfriend dying and you just want to cleanse yourself. I, I don't know, I'm still working on it. Has there been another goddamn rewrite? How the fuck are we supposed to learn our lines when there's a new script every 15 minutes? It's not just a new script, it's a new movie. And it's called Sarah Gets Skewered Like a Fucking Pig. Sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. That one's the real one. Never mind, it's actually just a clothes hanger. Now, this part of the movie is called How Good Is The Security Guy At His Job? Surprisingly good, actually. He closed the doors, turned all the lights off and locked them. So he's actually pretty good at his job. Like information about Sunrise Pictures merchandise. Come on, come on. <laughs> They're props, lady! <laughs> Whoa. Dude, that is so rude of you. Do you know how hard it is to recast a role like Sarah's? She's in two scenes. That's like four months of looking for an actress. Why would the police come to you? Well, I did write the definitive book on the Woodsboro murders. I'm sure you just can't wait to write another one. What about you? If I was friends with Gail, I would just be honest and just tell her, just put a really big hat on your head all the time. I need to find out something. I need to find out. I want to find out who did Gail's hair like that. Uh, music, casting, art direction, makeup department. The makeup department for Scream 3. Catherine Gordon, head department head. Uh, hair department. 
Do your fucking job better next time, okay? <laughs> what did you do? This is what a haircut at home during COVID looks like. <laughs> Gail is a prime example. You're not just here because of that second-rate Kmart straight-to-video version of me, are you? All of this is actually not about you. See, they're just not good communicators. They're so toxic for each other. I think someone on the film is trying to find Sid. I'm sorry, this is incredible. I said off the record. So someone in the film is trying to find Sydney and kill her? The obvious pick here is to pick the actress that's playing Sydney, but I think the more obvious pick is Dewey. He's behind it again. I'm saying again, he was never behind it in the first place. You're not a detective, Gail. Neither are you, Mr. Incognito. Oh, man. Gail is a scene stealer in every scene, and it's not because of her acting. That's, that is so distracting. I can't believe it. You. Like I'm ever going to win an award playing you. There's been a second murder. Is that fucking Bruce Campbell? Don't you get it? Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Oh. That was so random. You live here with her? Yeah. Oh, my. You said she liked having me around. Why? Big Dick. Big Dick Dewey, you know. That's my nickname around here. Or my dick name. <laughs> not nickname, it's my dick name. <laughs> That's not as funny as it is to me. Hey, do drop. I'm the professional celebrity guard here. Uh, my resume list, Julia Roberts, Salman Rushdie. Is that the wheelchair guy from Family Guy? Peter Griffin? Uh, no. It, Joe. He, hey, Peter. My legs ain't working again. Get me a beer. <laughs> that guy. Ten more murders and we can publish a calendar. The old killer playing with a cop routine. You are right. Hannibal Lecter was an expert at making calendars. Detective Kincaid, what, what do we know? Oh. Same killer? Producers told us that there are three different versions of the script. Something about trying to keep the ending off the internet. <laughs> okay, hold up a second. This is Stab 3. This isn't Spider-Man No Way Home. This isn't Avengers Endgame. This isn't the second Avatar movie. This is Stab 3. <laughs> okay? Don't think it's that much of a big deal. And now we're shut down and I am fucked. And I have no movie. I'm about to turn 30. And it looks like I'm now the next target. I think the scariest part about that whole sentence you just said was turning 30. Oh, I have six years. I have six years. You called Sarah, told her to come down to the studio. No, no, I, I never called her. I never told her to go anywhere. Roommate says she knows your voice, Mr. Pritchard. Well, she wasn't speaking with me. I did not call Sarah Darling. It's not him. He's too much of a fucking nerd. There's no way. If someone wants to kill my movie. Alright, we'll talk about your movie down at the station. He also wouldn't self-sabotage his own movie. That is stupid. That's like releasing a movie and then going on to Letterboxd, giving it two stars and going, Huh, poo poo pee pee. I actually made this movie and I fucking hated making it so much even though it's a great movie. Two stars. Okay, well, whatever it is, you can tell me. I've killed someone, Laura. I'm putting my bet on who the killer is. It's the dog. I betcha. You're a voice. Don't you want to know how you can help, Laura? I can't believe that Laurie had... Laura. <laughs> That's Halloween, you fuckwit. I can't believe Sydney has gone two movies full of trauma and her friends dying and she turned to being a tally marketer. You know your mother's voice when you hear it. Do you think it's over, Sydney? So this version of Ghostface has the mimicking ability from Dead by Daylight. This movie's all over the place. I've got no idea what's going on. Scene 50. Dewey saves the day. Scene 51. No one suspects I'm the killer just yet, but I'm gonna say it's Tom. But then there's always two killers. It's never just one. This is a good picture of you. No, it's not. <laughs> that is a terrible picture. It's not even chroma keyed on properly. You can tell that's a green screen. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate it when people grab me on the shoulder and there's a loud sound accompanying that touch. Who I found slinking around the yard, uh, the nightly news. I'm gonna say it's Joe from Family Guy. He's the killer. Joe from Family Guy is the killer. That will make my day. Plus, then if it turns out that it is him, that would be so funny to think that in his prime he was Ghostface and then he became Joe, the wheelchair guy from Family Guy. That would be so funny even though it's not connected. Sydney bloody slashed his Achilles heel or something and he, was <laughs> and he became best friends with Peter Griffin. That's a brilliant narrative. Look at the buildings. The second story, there and there. It's the same. Oh my God, Maureen Prescott was at the back line at Sunrise Studios.
Hey, Peter. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. That makes me... Angry. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, man. I was so hoping you'd turn out to be the killer, dude. That's not how wind works. Dewey was legit about to shoot Casper in the fucking head. <laughs> Put the gun away, Dewey! You are not fit to hold a gun! Dewey, is he dead? I, my response is, are you a fucking idiot, Gail? Stone, clearly struggling to be alive, falls face first onto ground with knife in back. Gail, is, is he dead? Don't panic. Ah! Interior Jennifer's house, living room night, the script page. Oh, what's it say? With the bodyguard stabbed to death, the five stand trapped. He's, he's rewriting the movie. As the killer waits outside, oh. suddenly the fax machine sends news to their face. It's a trap. What if the killer is Wes Craven? <laughs> and. He's rewriting the movie because it's his franchise. The killer is Wes Craven. That would blow my mind. Shit. Dude, just go outside. There is so much moonlight. <laughs> okay! Someone should go back and check on him, see if he's doing okay. He might be in separate parts of the house though. Behind you. Oh shit! That's not gonna be good for Dewey's legs at all. He already has problems walking. Where'd he go? He just rolled out of the car. Right. Just rolled under the car. Is he fucking Chucky? That's the thing Chucky does. He gets shot at and he just rolls under the couch. I'm disappointed that we're almost 50 minutes in and Gail hasn't been punched in the face yet. It's upsetting. That's the one thing I want to see in each movie. What? Ah! No. See what I mean? They just don't understand relationships. Are we safe? Safe from who? It's not her. We know who killed Maureen Prescott. Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker. I mean, they even told Sydney. <sighs> Oh man, I miss those two so much. Maybe there is a third killer. Sydney might know something. I told you, I don't know where Sydney is. Just wait for any spam caller to call your mobile and answer it, and you'll probably get Sydney. Hello? Uh, yeah, I can actually talk about my electricity bills at the moment. S Sydney? Is Look at you! What are you doing working there? Oh, yeah, of course, gotta pay the bills, right? Hi, you've reached the machine. You can leave a message, talk as long as you want. Damn, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's voicemail. You've reached the machine, please leave a message. Sydney has to be so over this shit, honestly. If I was just trying to live my life peacefully and someone was like, the killer's back, I'd be like, fuck, okay. Someone here who wants to help. Oh my god, Sydney. <laughs> Sydney is unsure if she wants to go anywhere near that fringe. <laughs> She's like, I want to give you a hug, but I'm just, I'm just not sure. Do you have her number stored in your memory? Phone memory. <laughs> this man used to be a police officer, by the way. Watching this movie makes me realize how much I miss Randy. Can someone give Jamie Kennedy a call and just bring him back on, please? That dude was just so goofy, but fuck, he made these movies enjoyable. Alien. Never mind the aliens, that's actually just Harvey Weinstein in costume. You can probably hit him with the car. Hey! Don't shoot him, only 17! It's okay. Tell me that's his ex-girlfriend, I'll shoot myself. It's Martha Meeks, Randy's sister. Randy's sister? Yeah, I can't you tell? No! I can't tell! It doesn't look anything like him! Told you I'd make a movie someday. Huh? Oh my god. Well, yes. then that giving up my virginity to Karen Kolchak at the video store was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Karen Kolchak? Yes, Karen Kolchak. <laughs> we were working late, we were putting away some videos in the porno section, and, you know, shit happens. You know how it is. Putting away, you know, cassettes onto a shelf and then you end up having sex. It's pretty common, actually. The reason I'm here 
is to help you. Are we gonna get rules? There are a few things that you gotta remember. Is this simply another sequel? Well, if it is, the same rules apply. If you find yourself dealing with an unexpected backstory and a preponderance of exposition, then the sequel rules do not apply. Okay. True trilogies are all about going back to the beginning and discovering something that wasn't true from the get-go. <laughs> One, you got a killer who's going to be superhuman. Basically, in the third one, you got to cryogenically freeze his head, decapitate him, or blow him up. Okay. Number two, anyone, including the main character, can die. This means you, Sid. I'm sorry. No, they're not going to kill her off. Number three, the past will come back to bite you in the ass. Any sins you think were committed in the past are about to break out and destroy you. All right, I'm going to be honest, Randy. I enjoyed your rules for the second movie, not so much the third one. And for some of you, I'll see you soon. Because the rules say that. The, the rules actually say that, right? I'm, I'm sorry I had to read that out, but the rules said so. She looks like ugly Betty's long lost sister. Do you want us to come with you? I work better alone. I can see nothing's changed. No. Oh, you haven't been looking clear enough, Sydney. You haven't met anyone called Catherine Gordon, have you? <laughs> Jeez. What the hell are you doing? I am Gail Weathers. <laughs> I am the Batman. Gail and Gail walking down the stairs. What the fuck is on her head? Hey, are you? No. But you look just like her. I've been hearing it all my life. It's uncanny. I was up for Princess Leia. I was this close. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up a... a... I'm so sorry they made you float through space in Star Wars. I don't work for the cops, sweetie. I work for the studio. I love Carrie Fisher, man. You changed Jabba the Hutt's life as Slave Leia. I hope you know that. Fifty dollars? Who are you a reporter for Woodsboro High? That's actually, funnily enough, you say that. Where I actually got my start. You know, you gotta start low and <laughs> work your way up. Rena Reynolds. Is that Ryan Reynolds' mum? You should talk, Judy Jurgenstern. Damn it, incognito mode does not work. John Milton. The horror producer? I haven't been paying attention enough. Who's John Milton? Wait! He's the policeman! <laughs> Damn, that guy's gonna be taking the weirdest poo right now. Sydney Prescott! I mean, I'm not. I mean, well, if there's no movie, then no one would care if I took some souvenirs. Then why the hell were you standing on the toilet seat? Angelina. Ghostface is going to pop out here somewhere and we're going to assume it's Angelina, but it's definitely not Angelina because of the previous conversation and it would be too obvious. That's going to be weird, like seeing a set that's pretty much replicated entirely of the original. That's going to be weird. <laughs> oh, that's not a cat that's been through that cat door at all. Sid's room, hot set. What's hot set mean? I'm getting flashbacks! I'm getting flashbacks to, like, three months ago! <laughs> it's a little bit rude to close the door like that. Now I'm gonna need to open the door again. There's something trying to get into the room. Right. Ugh! So rude! This is Sydney fucking Prescott, all right? You're gonna need to up your game a little bit. <laughs> she did that in the original, and then that was the bike she pushed down the stairs. <laughs> That's a great little touch. I would actually just have fucking Superman onto the bed down below. That's the right idea. Don't go towards the whispering, you idiot. You're Sydney Prescott, not Sydney Press Note. Give mommy a kiss and we'll make up. Ew. Thank God that wasn't real grass. That would have really hurt. I stole a mask. Whatever. Didn't know you got the gas chamber for that. Pardon? I do. Do. <laughs> they said do do. <laughs> There'll be other movies, Rob. Not only did they did they kill the film, but they killed my cast. You know, nobody's gonna want to work with me. Variety called me a pariah. And Variety is kind of in a little bit of hot water at the moment with the whole Eternals premiere. 
Variety isn't the best publication out there, trust me. Hollywood is full of criminals whose careers are flourishing. I'm not a criminal! So you knew Sidney Prescott's mother? Who? You're trying to tell me this old fuck is running around as Ghostface and taking bullet wounds and rolling under cars? It's trying to convince me that Hugh Hefner was Ghostface all along. Alright. You have made millions off the story of her murder and you're obsessed with her daughter! Right. Good acting! Just what did happen to Maureen when she was in Hollywood? Now you listen to me, Lois Lane. Let it go. Uh, that's kind of disrespectful to Lois Lane. Nothing happened to her that she didn't invite in one way or another. No matter what she said afterwards. This is not the city for innocence. You want to get ahead in Hollywood? You gotta play the game. I didn't realize this guy was fucking Harvey Weinstein, but alright. We didn't actually give her the role because she didn't show me her boobies. Yeah, I'm a pretty pathetic male in Hollywood, so it kind of makes sense. Ghosts are tough. You can't shoot ghosts. Can't arrest ghosts. What is this script, man? <laughs> you can't shoot ghosts. Yeah. You also can't arrest them. Wow, fuck. Color me blue and call me bloody Cluedo. I, I, what? That makes just about as much sense as this movie has made sense. I always thought I had the perfect mom. Until I found out I was wrong. She had a secret life and I tried to understand that and... Uh... In all honesty though, if this movie didn't have Neve Campbell as Sydney, it would fucking suck. <laughs> she brings so much to these movies, I don't, I'd never realised it until now. How is that good news? That means that we're dealing with an ordinary flesh and blood killer and I know how to handle guys like that. Oh yeah. How? <laughs> What's your favourite scary movie? Uh, Amazon Prime Cinderella. My life. Can't say I've seen that movie yet. It's on my watch list though. Milton's the key to everything. He's a pervert, he's not a killer. My god, would Mark- Shut, Shut up! up! Thank you two for agreeing on something for once. John Milton called me and said he had something to tell me, something about my mom. I'm going to meet him at his house. How is this version of the killer able to mimic people's voices? Sydney Prescott? Yeah. No, I never invite her here. Supposedly, Milton has a secret screening room. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check this place out. I'll go with you, Roman. There you go. Did he say period? We'll be right back. No, you won't. See, whoever it is to be revealed as like the final killer just, I feel like, won't make sense at all. This movie sucks compared to the first two. What's down there? Zombies and aliens. You know, what you look like without makeup, Jennifer. <laughs> Fucking hell! If you were to take the main three, Gail, Dewey, and Sydney, out of the picture here, it would feel like a student film. What is this thing? Is this what he... <laughs> Dewey's got our voices. <laughs> there is no technology that can do that in the year 2000. Maybe in 2020 when yes you can fake someone's voice. But in the year 2000 you couldn't just do that to anyone's voice. You know, maybe if I had that device I could like easily steal my dad's credit card and pretend to be him when the bank calls up and asks Why the hell is there $5,000 missing? Oh well I actually just wanted to buy some uh, V-Bucks, you know? By how jumpy all of these characters are when a door closes or that, in all honesty, none of them would make Stab 4. That basement is kind of fucked up though. If you really wanted to traumatize a child, you'd send them down there and shut the door. <laughs> Worse than Gail's fucking fridge. It's crazy to still be here! See ya! <laughs> I knew that was coming! Come on! What the fuck is that Gail actress doing? Hello! How you going? Whoa! You didn't need to clog Dewey like that, man! Ah! Hey, stop punching him in the head! Oh, oh you motherfucker! <laughs> I'm rooting for Ghostface, man! He's the most exciting thing to happen in about an hour and a half. That's gonna stop him, isn't it? A chair on the ground. <laughs> That's fucked up. Of course the seedy old man would have something like that in his mansion. Look, Gail. The mirror's moving. Ah! 
Dewey is now criminal. Tyson! I'm gonna check down here. No? He didn't even assume that he might have shot her through the mirror? Alright, I'm gonna check out front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one pool party I wouldn't want to attend. How do I know that this is you, Gail, not the killer? Open the fucking door. It's me. Don't you think that's what the killer would say? All right, remember when I gave you the Glock Walk 3000 the other week? Oh, it is you, Gail. That was fucking goofy as fuck, but whatever. <laughs> Why is this movie so goofy? If that knife had have actually killed Dewey, imagine dying in the worst movie out of the three of them. Like, that's gotta suck. It's the detective. The detective is the one behind it. Who is this? Who is this? Do you have somewhere we can be? Yes. Yeah, go there. Uh, aren't you gonna find out where that place would be? When you're friends with Sydney, you die. Yeah, that's gonna suck. It's like you meet this new girl and you're like, oh, what's your name? And she goes, oh, my name's Sydney Prescott. And you go, I don't think we can actually be friends. You're dead. I don't want them. Presto. You're dead! <laughs> Courtesy of my little favourite redhead. Alright, bets. It's the cop. It's the detective. I know that's a little bit late in the game for me to predict that, but in all honesty, there hasn't been like any clues or anything. This movie has been all over the place. So my guess is going to be 2000's Andrew Garfield hair detective boy. That's my guess. Show it to me. Dude, you've got to pay at least five dollars a month to see my ankles. Throw it in the pool. <laughs> now it's a water pistol. <laughs> Sid. Sydney, be careful of his mustache, man. Oh shit. Think again. It's your turn to scream, asshole. It's your turn to scream, asshole. What? Does that make sense? Did someone think about that before they wrote that in the script? <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense when you actually think about it. Tyson's dead. What's going on? I don't know. Ghostface, you tell us. Tyson said there was a party here tonight and I thought, uh oh. Nah, it's you. You're the man that's doing the bad things. Are you kidding me? You want me, motherfucker? Come and get me. It's my turn to scream, asshole. Runs away. Imagine how disappointed you'd be if you wanted to read that book because the cover looked nice and then you went to pull it out of the shelf and it actually opened up a secret door. <sighs> I actually really wanted to read that book. Would you like to hold me? One last time. No. It's time you came to terms with me and with mother. Is it Willem Dafoe? Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. Damn, bro, don't show me that corset. That's got me fucking bricked up right now. Maureen Prescott. She shut me out in the cold forever. Her own son. Who the fuck is this? She slammed the door in my face and she said I was Rena's child and Rena was dead. I made a little home movie, a little little family film. <sighs> Zero for three. Your boyfriend didn't like seeing his daddy in my film too much. Once I supplied the motivation, all the kid needed was a few pointers. This is all because of you. I'm so disappointed. I'm so upset I got it wrong again, but I'm more upset of that reveal. <laughs> the man who gave away your mother's innocence. Huh? She never recovered from that night right here in this room. They fucked what? her three ways from Sunday. Ruined her life. What the fuck, man? I know who you are. I know what happened to my mother and I want you to understand. I'm gonna make you pay. That's what the police are gonna find in Milton's answering machine. Right next to his lifeless, mutilated corpse. Mm. Final cut! I already have it. 
<laughs> right, that's good. That was good. Final cut. No worries. The sole survivor. Who's the one who bravely faced down the psychopath and killed her with her own knife? I don't think you realize how police questioning works, brother. You realize you would be the prime suspect, right? With everything tied to you. <laughs> Fucking moron. Why do you kill people, Roman, do you? Don't want to hear it! Because you choose to! There is no one else to blame! Roman. Roman was the killer. You could say he was roaming around for an excuse to do what he did. <laughs> Come on, Sydney, fuck Roman up. You can do it. Dewey, do something! Dewey is doing something. All right, Gail? Stand back. Fuck. Damn, Dewey has some lockpicking skills. That's not Dewey. Uh... She was wearing the bulletproof vest. You can't kill the boogeyman, Roman. Haven't you ever watched Halloween? Oh, damn, Laura got him. Laura from Female Problems Telemarketers? Lapida. I still got to make my movie. Step three, right? Stab three, right? Pfft. More like stab four, you. Randy said the killer's always superhuman. His name's Roman. He's not going to be superhuman. Hey! You fucking! Just starts unloading a clip on his chest, and dude was wearing body armor. <laughs> Just keep shooting at the chest. Okay. Sydney's like, fuck, man. I am so over having to do this every time. But it will make a great movie. <laughs> Guys, you could have ended the movie with Gail having a better haircut, man. What are you doing with that? Um, Learning how to read? <laughs> you hate that book. Besides, I'm, I'm done with that kind of reporting. For me. See what I mean? They're like best friends again. They fight, they kiss, they fight, they fuck, they fight, they kiss, and they're like, sign the book for me. Dewey, you sweetheart. You're a brave man, Dewey Riley. I'm really scared right now. <laughs> Dewey is essentially a 13 year old, like, boy inside a man's body he doesn't know what he's doing in his life he just hopes he does things correctly not gonna lie i'm kind of disappointed the golden retriever didn't turn out to be the killer <laughs> that would have been fucking amazing what's your motivation well sydney you didn't give me enough treats today <laughs> sid this is the third movie lock the door I just peed myself. Shut the door, you let bugs in. That's how the movie ends? That was fucking genuinely terrible and I watched Child's Play 3 last week. That hurts. That was easily the worst out of the three of them. Anyways, that was Scream 3. I'm gonna get straight into my rating here because uh, the recording's gone for two hours and that means it's gonna take me a lot longer to edit. But I'm actually gonna give Scream 3 a two out of five. I would never watch that one ever again. Honestly, I would never watch that one again. That was not good at all. So messy. No wonder Roman was the killer. The dude didn't even know how to write a movie correctly. Maybe that was the meta joke of it all, is that this guy who wanted to be the director of the movie was the killer because he didn't know how to write a script properly and then the, the movie that was made then was that movie and it was terrible and that's why Roman became a killer. No. So that's where I'm going to leave it, I think. Uh, next month, you'll have Scream 4, and then the following month will be Scream 5, and I'll be very excited to see that. I haven't watched any of the trailers, so please refrain from spoilers in the comments. I've been avoiding that, uh, so I don't get spoiled for it. 
uh, about characters or anything like that. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a big like or a little like depending on your thumb size. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and consider supporting me on Patreon because it helps fund my videos and helps me financially support myself a little bit because these videos do take a lot of work. So, or don't. And I will see you all the next time that we do this, which will be when I see you then. Uh, until then, Scream 3 was my villain origin story, so now I'm going to go and buy a costume and pretend to be a serial killer. That's a joke. But <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> next week.